Yeah, good game. You know, uh, we thought it would be a pretty evenly matched game. Um, come, came down to one inning and uh, give them credit. They took advantage of a couple of free passes, um, uh, another single and the extra base hit to kind of get put that crooked number up on the board. Uh, we know that they generally pitch well, play really good defense. So we expected it to be a low scoring game. Um, they just kind of won that big inning over us. But I'm really proud of our team. We've had a great a great last month, not even just a couple of weeks, like a great last month, four or five weeks for sure. We've been getting better, playing our best when it matters the most. And I'm um, just proud. To, these are our seniors, super seniors, and it just felt right to come in here together for the journey we've been on. And hopefully that will continue to take uh, next week. Yeah, well, she's been great for us. Just really consistent. You know, we kind of know what we're going to get. And sometimes she can get into trouble and get herself out of it. You know, trouble meaning the strike zone. And Tom generally has a pretty, you know, tight zone back there, consistent, but it's a little, a little tight back there. Um, and even though there's a free pass or a hit, cause that's a good hitting team, you know, Bree's consistently been able to have big pitches and big moments and get out of it. And sometimes it's just, were they sitting the right thing? Did it catch some plate? Was a little bit heighted, and they took advantage of that. You know, some good hitters. So um, obviously McKenna came in just to change the speed and did a great job. And, and we'll need her down the stretch here too as we go into postseason. But um, Bree's been so good for us and so reliable and consistent. It wasn't that challenging. Um, they just put a couple good swings on a couple of balls in that, especially in that same inning. Yeah, I'll let them answer that question. Um, but, I, you know, we were right there. We put some balls in play. They're not going to give you much defensively. They're really sound. I know they take pride in that. Um, they're one of those programs that value defense for sure. So, um, and then we hit a couple balls right at them. But you do have to try to piece something together. And, you know, they were, they were able to negate that. She's around the strike zone, locates it well, doesn't play it a lot of it, you know, pretty good heights. And obviously she has her speed and some off speed too to disrupt the timing. At least constantly make, make you think about it too. But I'll let them kind of answer that question. And Oh, yeah, I would say just the change in speed. I mean, we were one pitch away. Lexi hit two foul balls, probably 300 feet. So we were literally right there the whole game, and we knew it was like, going to be like that coming in. I think they just got scored first, which obviously is a big thing. You need to score first. But I would say just the change in speed and sitting one. And then once she gets two strikes, she's battling. Mm hmm Um, just being able to be around my teammates, honestly, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else today besides with them and like they're like my family. So just being here with them and being able to continue our journey on. Yeah, playing the best when it matters with each other. Obviously, this is our last game, last SC tournament, and like me and Ansley have played <laughs> almost every game together. So just staying together and playing the best when it matters. Obviously, postseason's big, and I think we've put ourselves in a good position to make postseason at this point. So just fighting together and staying together through the wins and losses. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's been everything. And just my scenario being a little different, a grad transfer here, um, my first true SEC tournament, um, it's honestly just been a blessing being out there and just being able to share it with wonderful people, getting the win yesterday, um, and then just trying to bounce back on from that today. But I'll just say it's been everything. I would say just like enjoying the moment and being present in it. Like these could be our last couple of games, but hopefully I think we'll make it to postseason. But I also feel like I just want to be here with my teammates and enjoy these moments while we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, when it's out of your control, that's always, you know, you're not guaranteed anything. I, I say that all the time, just they're not guaranteed in life and like anything in life and you're not entitled or guaranteed anything. But I do think our body of work speaks for itself. And I think when you're looking at putting teams that are playing their best, that are on the rise, that have had a good run going into postseason, we're a team that's done that. And we've proved that not through one weekend, through multiple weekends, going on the road in hostile environments and being able to perform there. Um, which is what you have to do in postseason for the competitiveness and the quality of the games and in postseason for how popular our sport is. I think we have a good body of work and I think we're a team that deserves to be in. We'll hold our breath. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.